Hello everyone, and if you didn't know, the Caves and Cliffs update part 1 is coming out on Tuesday, June 8th. And you might be wondering, hmm, I feel like, what actually will be coming out in this update? Because I know that the Caves and the Mountains won't be coming out, so what will be coming out? Well, today I'm going to try and pack as much as I can remember in this, and I'll be telling you, it's just, it's, it's gonna be epic, guys. Let, let's just get started. So to start us off, let us start with- I'm so dumb at speaking. Why am I so bad at speaking? Let's start at the start and start with the items. These are the new items coming out in the 1.17- GET AWAY! GET- Sorry about that. So we have raw iron. Raw iron it comes from cop- uh, Raw- I'm- Why can I not talk? Raw iron comes from iron ore. And that goes for the same as copper, raw, raw copper, and raw gold. And here you have uh, copper ingot, which you get from smelting the raw copper. Now, this is what I am most glad that was added. The spyglass. I'm so glad that they're not leaving this out for part two. I love this thing. This is my by far favourite item that's being added. Well, warden... It's pretty good, but I do absolutely love the spine glass. Now, you also have the amethyst shard, and the amethyst shard can be used to make the amethyst blocks. If you don't know, the amethyst blocks can also be found in the geodes. So, yes, this can be very useful sometimes. What did I tell you about going away? Yes, so this is so kind of useful, not very useful, useful, but this can be used to make the spine glass so yeah, it's kind of useful. And the new food item in the Caves and Cliffs update, the glow berries. The glow berries can be planted on things. Let's see. There you go, glow berries. Now, these are kind of like berry bushes, except they grow like vines. But a thing that they actually do is they actually grow um, glow berries on them, which you can then pick and eat. But I wonder if I eat them, I'll glow. Let's find out. No, nothing exciting happens. It's just, it's basically just light source for the lush caves, which aren't even coming out. Like, why add this if the lush caves aren't even coming out yet? So now that we've talked about the items, let's move on to something much more amazing. Something people will actually like and enjoy in this new update. Now, I haven't spawned these mobs in. These are just natural axolotls hanging out. Uh, they're just chilling out and then over here, there seems to be a maybe a bit unfortunate uh, glow squid. So let's see these glow squids. Yeah, punch them in the face. So these glow squids are really quite useful, and they are quite useful for this reason. So, you can get glow ink sacks from these things, and then you can use glow ink sacks on signs, and it will make them glow in the dark. You can also make these cool glow item frames, which makes all the items you put in it glow in the dark. Now, what are you looking at? Let's, let's, go, uh, let's go check out if there's a... Yeah, and over here there's some natural spawning goats, completely natural, definitely didn't spawn these in. Now these goats are quite useful for the main reason they can headbutt things, and also they, jog they, they jump sometimes, they just go wee sometimes. So yeah, they just headbutt things sometimes, and uh, yeah, if you have these guys at your base, then they'll just go around and they'll go like, wee! Yeah, that, that's basically all they do. But, yeah, they're quite cute, I guess. Yeah, I think you can also milk them. Let's see. Let's get a bucket out. Yeah, you can milk these guys, which is a bit weird, but... Um, yeah, I guess it's just, like, real life. Moving swiftly along to the blocks. I've mentioned all the blocks, just the mainly important ones. So here we have deep slate. Deep slate can just be found basically anywhere underground. It's usually deeper. Of course, it's called deep slate, so it kind of makes sense. Zombie, shut up! And then also here you have calcite, which are found um, in the geodes. I don't know if there is any geodes under here. Yes, there's a geode over there. And uh, yes, you, as you can see, the calcite spawns over there. Um, here you have tuff. Tuff can also be found basically anywhere under the ground. They used to spawn in geodes, but they no longer do. Uh, here you have the dripstone block. Which can be found, liter again, literally anywhere underground. Um, 
usually they have these spiky things on them and if you fall on the spiky things it hurts a lot. Uh, raw iron, copper and gold. You can basically find raw copper, iron and gold. Raw copper, iron and gold, yes. Raw copper, iron and gold in the massive iron veins. If you don't know what massive iron, copper, gold vein is, it's basically just a massive vein of iron, copper. I need to iron, copper or gold. It's quite obvious. Uh, these veins can have like up to like 200 of, not these, but like, you know, the uh, copper blocks and that kind of stuff in them. They're, they're pretty OP, they're pretty big. Um, but uh, yeah, that's basically all I have to say about these beans and uh, like Brussels sprouts or something. And uh, yeah, let's, let's move on to the amethyst. Amethyst can also be found in the amethyst geodes obviously um and then you also have uh copper which have a really cool feature if you put the game roll up to random tick speed 1000 these should grow and there you go it's oxidized really quickly on top of the now oxidized copper you have um amethyst budding amethyst geode and these you may have noticed actually grow amethyst geodes on them you might have saw that when i was uh, oxidizing the copper but yes these do grow amethysts on them so it's basically just an infinite supply of amethyst blocks here you have the dripstone i told you about them uh they can be hung from up and down like so they can be hung like that and then now they join uh, you also have amethyst geode candles, which are my favourite. Let's get my fl my flint and steel out, and let's set these alight without setting up the fire. Yeah, you can also put these things on candles. They look really nice and on. You can also put these things on cakes. Why can I not speak? Look, you can put these things on cake. It's pretty tasty. Then you can eat the cake. It's pretty epic. Uh, and then you also have the bas the the smooth basalt. Smooth basalt can be found in the geodes also, it's like the outer layer of the geodes. Um, you also have these flowering azalea bushes, I really like these. And they also make a really nice crinkly sound when you walk in them. And then you also have the big drip, drip leaves. Yeah, they basically just fall when you stand in them. You have the dripping roots, and I think there is also another block with roots in them. Yes, also rooted dirt, which is quite nice. And then you also have flowering azalea, which also sounds nice when walking on it. Uh, let's move on to... what else is there? Let's just do special features, eh? Now, I don't really know very much uh, special features about uh, 1.17, but I can name some things about structures. Uh, you know, the, the... these things now spawn. Oh yeah, also, one of the blocks I forgot that I just saw, Glow Lichen, right here. These literally spawn anywhere in caves, and it's basically just a lighting source for caves. Like, you know when the big caves come out, they're basically going to be spread all over them, so you can see the wonderful caves. Um, also, a thing about, uh, what are these called again? Mine shafts. Is that if it goes out into some kind of ravine or a cave system like this. This is a great example over here. They now have a fence uh, with a chain that goes straight up, which looks quite nice. Now, that's basically all there is to uh, 1.17 as I can remember. Uh, so I hope you guys have really enjoy I enjoyed this video. I enjoyed filming it. Uh, and uh, yeah, I guess enjoy 1.17 on Tuesday. Have fun.